All right, today we are going to do a picker view demo app, Hack Witch. So we're going to create a single view app. I'm just going to name it Picker View. Uh, make sure these are all set up and you have storyboard set for your user interface. Click Next and Create. All right, once we have our storyboard open, we're going to go ahead and add a picker view. Ooh, there's two different types of picker views. We have a date picker and it's the normal picker view. We're going to use the normal one, just the picker view. And go ahead and place that in the center of your phone there. All right, let's go ahead. We need to open up our assistant editor. Let's click on the five horizontal lines. Your assistant editor should pop up. I'm going to go ahead and close this to show you more of my screen. And let's go ahead and close this one too. All right, so I'm going to hook this up as an outlet. So control, drag over, or right click and drag over, and I'm going to name that picker. And you see the type says UI picker view here, so we're good there. And connect. All right. Now what we're going to do is create some of the data that's going to go inside our picker view. I'm going to name that. Uh, we're going to go up here and create a variable. So var, ooh, var picker data and that is going to be a string all right we need to use strings so that they show up uh, in our picker view there and down here we're going to identify what is actually going to show up in that picker data So, let's turn right item one. We want this to be an array, so we're going to separate it with um, quotes here and commas. Item four. All right. All right, so I made a slight mistake here. This picker data actually needs to go in our view to load. So find my top squiggly, find the bottom squiggly, right under the super, super dot view to load. I'm going to put it in there. Because when my app loads, all right, it will load this data here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now we need to connect this data. All right, I'm actually gonna put this above here. And I'm gonna say self.picker is the delegate equals self <coughs> all right so when you type this in you're gonna get some errors what's what it's doing is it's adding in these different classes all right that's a good thing those are good errors just go ahead and hit your fix and it should add these in 
up here. Once you add those two in, it's going to give you, let me redo that. It's going to give you this here. So your UI picker view data source. It's your uh, protocol stubs. So it's just code you need to run your picker view. Uh, I don't like where it puts it in. I like to have my functions down here below my view to load. So that's where I'm going to put it right below here. All right, so it says func number of components in picker view. This says uh, func picker view number of rows in the component. All right, so we are going to say we just want one line, one column, I guess I could say. So we're just going to go return one. And here, as many rows, we're gonna we're gonna return as many rows as as we have items in our pick, picker data. So our picker data, we have five items. So I'm gonna write uh, return picker data dot count. So it's gonna go up to this array, count our data, and return that many lines. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. All right, so we can see that we have item one through item five, just how we have it uh, in our code here. All right, so what we're going to show now is how to get our selection to show up into a label. So first things first, we need to put a label out here. Just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'll center it to make it look a little nicer and connect it and I'm just going to name this text label all right so now as I go down into my view controller I do have to add one more function funk and if I just start ty typing in pick it's going to give me some ideas so the very first one says well for me it says called by the picker view when the user selects a row in a component AKA that means it's going to do something when something's selected, all right? Uh, when something, when the user has adjusted it and had, it's uh, on the setting they want it to be. You gotta enter that in. Go ahead, go ahead, type in my text label dot text equals picker data, and then it's gonna, just gonna take from that row, all right? Now it's going to take the integer from my picker data, which is a, a string, and put it into my label. All right, let's run it and see what happens. All right, looks like a charm. So there you go. That's how you use your picker view and get that data um, to go into your label. Once again, this could change many settings, not just the label, but uh, text field, background, anything you want it to do when it is selected. All right, I uh, hope you guys uh, understood that. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.